So this is how you do diamond kit on 96-97 Subaru with a 2.5 DOHC engine. Take this busy down first. Off the fans. And repeat the same on the second fan. Make sure that you get the bucket of some sort and don't miss, but with it being antifreeze, it will always go to a wrong place. Went down the frame rail. So. Yeah. Okay. So far, good aim. I wish the aim was a good one, EP. Right. <laughs> There's a shop dog over there somewhere. Hey, Vladimir. Come here, boy. That's our shop puppy. Four months old. Hey. There he is. Alright, back to the video. If your arms don't look like that, you ain't working. Let me touch things real quick. <laughs>
covers to get to the diamond belt and the water pump. Let's try this shit. After you get all of them loose, don't pull them out. Just get them somewhat loose. Use air gun. Or if you're a real G, use breaker bar. You're probably gonna need a swivel socket. And here you can see leaky camshaft seals. Well, maybe. Let's see if I can get the camera there. See the oil. So we'll just take all those bastards off. I'll get those some bitches out with a pick. They're kind of pain in the ass. Sometimes you'll break a pick. It happens. Number two. <laughs> See if we can do it without breaking another pick. Nope, pick number two is broken. Pick number three. Uh, every time it snaps, I'm worried because there's two picks bit to dust on that one already. This just shows you a Harbor Freight picks are not as powerful as Ace Hardware picks. Cheap ass Stack Force Ace Hardware pick did three of cam seals and two Harbor Freight picks got broken on, on this bad boy over here. Stack Force for the win. Hello there. I might not edit that out. <laughs> wow. Fucking duct tape fail. <laughs> no, I'm still recording. Hey, it happens as it is. There's no trickery over here. This is our, uh, it's called a ghetto seal driver, aka quarter inch extension. Now proceed to remove both idler pulleys on the passenger side and repeat the process.
Yeah, this is perfect. This is uh, feedback. It's perfect. That's what she said. You're smaller than feedback, but. <laughs> but. Install water pump. And then reattach all of the bolts? No, reattach the, all of the pulleys. We're gonna put the tension all back in. Tensioner, sorry. Fucking Russian. Really deep and punky, like an Well, it's not funny. And this is where you understand the value of a good ratchet. It's punky. Now it's time to put tensioner back on. Now the kit came with a new bolt. That was very nice of them. If you guys are actually shopping for a new kit, I got the Evergreen kit of Amazon. Pretty badass kit so far, even canvas thermostat gasket. That was nice of them. Is on. Do not tighten them with air gun. That might damage some stuff. Some weird background noises. Not sure what's going on. And then repeat the other side. So the uh, cam pulley bolts just kind of hand tighten them and then align your notches. Do not uh, tighten them too, too strongly yet up until you put the timing belt on. Just make sure to remove the pin from the tensioner right there so it puts the tension on the pulley. Alright, so make sure to do the timing. If you don't know how to set the timing, there's plenty of 
information online just make sure that you line up notches on your uh, camshaft pulleys and on your main uh, crank pulley and then uh, reverse the process uh, by putting all the covers back on putting crank pulley back on putting pretty much uh, fans uh, the radiator connecting all the hoses uh, just reverse stuff so once you yeah. put the covers on get the uh, main pulley on then get the belts on tighten the tensioners then once you do that start the car up make sure it runs make sure you didn't jump the teeth on timing make sure that you didn't bend on any valves and then keep assembling back put the radiator back in put the antifreeze in burp it now fill it with antifreeze Burp it, let all the air come out. Keep going. You can actually look up procedures on the internet how to burp the car properly. I'm not gonna put it in this video because it's gonna be way too long.